Let's discuss acids and bases. So acids, acids are compounds or molecules that donate H plus in solution. For example, HCl, hydrochloric acid, will dissociate in water to form H plus and Cl minus. So, so because it, it donates H pluses, it's an acid. Bases, this is a very simplistic, by the way, you know, discussion of acids and bases. Bases are molecules that um, bind to H plus in solution. Okay, example, ammonia, NH3, will bind to H plus in solution to form ammonium. Like that, okay? So the fact that, that it binds to it make, makes ammonia a base. Now, we can define the acidity or basicity of a solution based on what's called the pH scale. This pH scale or the pH value indicates the level of acidity of a solution. And so the pH of any solution is equal to the negative log 10 of the concentration of H plus in solution. So basically pH tracks how much free protons you have or H plus that you have in solution, okay? And typically, you know, in the body, the range goes from zero to 14. A pH of seven is said to be neutral, okay? As you go higher in number, you become more basic. As you go lower in number, you're more acidic. Solution there. Zero is, pre is, pre is pretty acidic. Now, we tend to think that pH stops at zero and 14. It does not. I mean, pH is, is a, math it's a mathematical equation. So any value here that plugs in will give, will give you any number, any real number. So you, see, so you, see you can have acids which, are, which can have pH, you know, at negative 18, for example. It can go very low. Basin can also go pretty high as well, okay? So don't get fooled that the, the pH value can only be here. This, this is the pH scale, with scale that we use in the body because typically inside the body, we don't exceed the, these, these limits, 14 and zero. Okay. We, we, we never get to 14 and never, 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 never get to zero in, in the body either. But, but we can, outside the body, in a chemistry lab, create acids which are very, very strong acids, negative 18. Okay. Another thing about the pH scale, Okay, look at an example here. So, for example, if the, the log of 10 is equal to 1, the log of 100 is equal to 2, okay? And the negative log, sorry, the log of 1 over 10 is equal to negative 1 and the log of 1 over 100 is equal to negative 2. All right, and in the body, the concentration of H plus is always a fraction, which means the log of that fraction is always a negative number. And so we usually multiply that by a, ne a negative. So a negative times a negative gives you a positive. So most times, so in the body, the pH tends to be a positive number between zero and 14, because we're taking the negative of a negative to give you a positive number. Like for example, so here, the pH of this would be negative log of that, which is equal to two. That's why the pH tends to be positive, but again, it can be negative. If the number, if, if the concentration is greater than one, it, it will be, it will be a, Ne negative number. For example, if the concentration of H plus is 10 molar, right? This is referring to the molar concentration of H plus. So, so if, it's, if it's 10, then the, then the log of 10 is 1, and 
the, the, the neg negative log of 10 becomes negative 1. So it, so it can become a, a, a negative number if it's ever above 1. Okay. All right. Or above, above a fraction. All right. What else can I talk about for pH there? Now, the body has to have a way to control pH. It's called a buffer system. So buffers are used to make sure that, that, that the level of H plus does not go, go too high or too low. So, so to maintain pH. So once pH goes out of, out, of, out of scale, things stop working, especially your enzymes. They prefer a certain pH to be optimal. And if pH goes, goes, goes too high, too low, they stop working and you can have serious complications from that. So one system that we have to maintain the pH is called the carbonic acid bicarbonate buffer system, okay? And this system, carbonic acid, H2CO3, can reversibly dissociate into H plus and bicarbonate, okay? And so, so this reaction can, can go this way or this way. It's said to be reversible, okay? It's a reversible reaction. And so this is how it works. If H plus levels go up, this is something's going on in your cell and all of a sudden you start, you start to make H pluses. So then that would make this, so then this value will start to go high. And if it goes high, it will change the pH. So if, so, so if, so if this goes up, the reaction will, will go to the left. So reaction goes to the left, this way. So it's trying to, it's trying to combine it to make this. That way you don't, get too high and vice versa if h plus levels drop then the reaction will, goes this way to make, make more of it right so if, if you have too much of it you want to combine combine it to make this that way you lower it, its free concentration and if it's too low you want to go this way to make more of it to raise up its free, free concentration and that way you maintain the the h plus levels so reaction here goes to the right in that case that's how buffers work Okay, we'll stop there.